I mean, I think we can all agree that he should have been arrested. Um, At least taken to the station and questioned. You know, my um, our mother and our brother w was questioned. They were taken to the station, yet he wasn't. Um, so, I mean, I, I would say that from the beginning there was, I don't know who did the swing, um, and I know that the Attorney General's office told us that um, the police department did not confirm with them whether or not to arrest him on the scene, um, and the DA had recused themselves. So I'm not really, I don't know who made the call not to arrest him, mm. um, but I have a lot of friends who are, are, who are attorneys, and obviously we've spoken to many attorneys, and they've all continuously pointed out that in any other situation, if there is somebody dead, there is an arrest. Mm. Whether they decide afterwards that it was justifiable, whatever, but there's an arrest. If there's a gun, yeah. there's a victim, and there's a shooter, the shooter's arrested. So um, I definitely question that. I question who made that call. Um, I question why he was treated any differently than anybody else. I know if I <laughs> went out and shot someone today that I would most likely be arrested. So <laughs> um, well, if, you're not, if you're not Kyle Carruth, probably don't try this at home. Well, considering that there was another shooting, you know, 30 minutes apart and same exact situation and, and he was arrested and taken to prison and charged and Kyle wasn't. It's just a little suspicious to yeah. say the least.